The Fed just cut interest rates another quarter basis point, but it's also making headlines for conducting a bond buying program known as a repo operation. We conducted overnight repurchase operations uh, yesterday and again today. These temporary operations were effective in relieving funding pressures, and we expect the federal funds rate to move back into the target range. Repo is short for repurchasing agreements. Banks must cover all of their obligations, so they have to make sure they have enough cash to settle up their accounts each night. If they don't have enough, they take advantage of what is called overnight markets to borrow short-term funds from other banks. Overnight markets are also called repo markets. Now, the Federal Reserve is insinuating itself in that bank-to-bank lending, which is unusual. The last time the Fed conducted a repo operation was during the financial crisis. Since the crisis, the repo market rules have changed and banks are required to hold more capital, which limits their ability to offer repurchasing agreements. Many investors worry the Fed's move indicates a lack of liquidity in the short-term lending market. And that could mean too big to fail institutions may have a harder time quickly borrowing cash when they need it. Combine that with the recently announced interest rate cut, and some say it could be a sign the Fed thinks the economy is doing worse than it says. But other experts are less concerned. This is definitely not a credit crisis. There's plenty of liquidity available in the system. It's just a matter of getting the cash and the collateral to exchange places. And the Fed's really done the right thing by stepping in here. The Fed says it plans to continue the repo operation through at least October 10th.